I thought I'd show you my little pockets I'm making today. Um, I'm doing a big one. So this is out of one of the new William Morris papers that I said go really well with this kit, the Autumn Medley. And I just cut it, size of the page, sort of. I think the page I do come in a bit. Um, I'll say, say the page was five and I cut this pocket is four and three quarters but I've done it five and three quarters and then half an inch for the flaps yeah and then I folded a bit over the top there yeah so that was that will sit in there like so and I will stitch along that bit there yeah so I'm going to glue that in now actually And then I'll show you the little flap that I'm going to do, the little pocket. And I'm going to stitch this now because I will forget. Okay. Okay. So there's that nice big pocket there. And I've got a piece of file folder. Okay. And I cut it down length, long ways. Yeah. And I scored. Um, let's have a look. So I've got magnets there. Yeah, I wasn't going to video, and I thought, oh, well, I don't know whether I've shown this one or not. Right, so that will go in there. Like so, and then that keeps it down. Okay, so it really will depend how tall your pocket is and how big your journal is. But you can do this any size, do you know what I mean? So just leave a bit there to decorate or anything. It doesn't have to be even that big. You can do it shorter if you want, but I felt... That was quite nice. And I just put two magnets on. Okay. And the inside there before. Because again, I do that while I think of it. Because I will forget. I will go ahead and put the paper on. Totally, totally forget what I'm doing. And that's it. And this is from an envelope. I make a template. I do like these. So I just made a. Copied that. And made a little template. Okay, from one of the envelopes, and what I've done because this is it's about right that size, yeah. So sometimes I'll just go like that. So you just find the center, and you've got the center there, so you line that up, and then you draw around it. That's it, it's quite handy. These I leave them like that in case I want it for a page flap like that as well. Yeah, so, uh, not those, there they are, so I'm going to cut this, I think I'm gonna do book page on there or fit. Oh look at that, that's fine. Okay. that's really not center so let's sort that out in a minute I've definitely longer this side than the other so 
so I'm going to have to sort that out for sure. And that was me measuring. <laughs> I'm best not to measure. <laughs> so we're like, uh, I've got to take my bit off. Oh my God, oh wow. How bad is that? It's about an inch there. So it's, it's that out, look. I got to memorize it now. <laughs> it's about that. <laughs> it may be a little bit more. There we go. There, well, that was a good. Um, for you. <laughs> no, not to measure. <laughs> Gosh. Mind you, I did do that just before I went for lunch, so I blame it on needing food. <laughs> oh, so I haven't shut the door properly to the studio, so it's going to start creaking. And I thought for this, I would have, you know, something like this on here. Yeah, I might use that actually, a little bit of that. That's fine. I'm just, yeah. And then we can use that as a journaling spot. I am going to put a hole there. Okay, and there will be a grommet in there, but I'm going to stitch around it all first. Okay, and then I'm going to decorate that. I'm actually quite liking the back. I might just do a little bit of stamping maybe. You know, I actually, that is looking good to me. Um, what have we got here? I'm just wondering what I got. I just want a tech stamp. Right, I shall find, I shall stitch around it and find the tech stamp for when I come back. Okay. Okay, so I've stitched around that. Oh, grommet in. quite nice if you have a dangle on that so okay now you know I use cheap grommets or eyelets I buy them off Amazon or I get them in Wilco's and they do fit that okay okay they're not sometimes they're not flat at the back so all I do is get a little hammer and bang it flat there we go no problem at all don't want that though Okay, so I'm going to stamp a little bit. I'm going to use Toffee Crunch. I, think I don't want it too overpowering. This is one of the Tim Holtz ones. And I think, as I know, <laughs> I can't remember. Because all my text stamps are actually sort of, um, what can I say? 
in a bag, you know, because I tend to go to them all the time and use them. So, yeah, just a little bit there. That's great. That's blended in lovely. And just do what's left on there. Okay, if there's any more, I'll just stamp on there. There we go. making sure and clean oh that's okay <laughs> gotta be so careful <laughs> um, I like to decorate while it's in the page so I can sort of see what's going on and that sits in there lovely now like that and nice easy one this is something I've done previously and I thought we could have that going on there similar to that and maybe another one there that I think that's pretty good and I'm gonna totally sort of like purpley color but I am gonna put that on there yeah and I quite like that and then we can have something dangling from here. Perfect. No, I'm just wondering if that would have gone over it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. It's not my day today. Isn't it? <laughs> well, I couldn't cut this straight. Now I nearly stuck that upside down. It's not looking good for me, folks. <laughs> it's really not. We haven't really stuck everything down yet, so I have a feeling like I want a bit under and a bit over. Like that. Okay, this is just curling up a little bit, so I'm just going to... And then once that's done, we can glue down the rest, yeah? All right, let's have a look. See if we've got a bit of string. This is quite nice. Now, all I'm doing is I'm not putting a dangle on, but that might change, okay, once I've done some. do that just in case I do put some on the end there and then I can I've got enough to knot and to shorten so there we go that's a really nice deep pocket yep perfect I mean these could be notebooks and everything but again my journals get a bit fat so I'm a bit careful what I put in there for a minute until I know, because at the moment they're feeling all skinny and I think, oh, that could be a really nice notebook. And then I'll go and do it and think, oh, why did I do that? I haven't got enough room for anything else. There we go. And I'm going to have loads of bits sticking out of this one. So watch this space on that. But I really like that. Is 
it's just a little video to show you how to put um, a library card together just in case you don't know i've just put this freebie up on um, a facebook group and some people get a little bit confused with this especially you know newbies and that i've been there myself so but all you've got to do is cut the elements out i mean these are sort of spare really the butterfly can be placed on top of that one or you can 3d this again and put that on there but or you can use them in other projects all right so you cut everything out okay this one i've already cut out because i've done it on um me jet to make sure it all looks all right and all fit before i put it up on facebook and i wasn't in my studio so i just printed it out so once you've cut it out so it just literally goes up like that yeah and then these bits go in from there from that corner to that corner goes in and that goes in so that's your pocket yeah and then that goes up and gets stuck on there but what i'm going to do first is just ink all around the edges because you do see the white edges um if i can find a there we go so if you ink up that I mean, you can tea stain if you want, you know, but, and you can also cover the back if you wanted to. That's there. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do here as well. And there. Just in case that pokes through there. You glue these down, that creates your pocket. Like so. Now you can round the corners up here, okay. If you do a floating one, then you can back this, but if you do one that you stick in, you don't need to. But I will round the corners. Okay. And then I would back that as well, and then that sits in there. Okay, okay. Yeah, if you back it, it doesn't flop around so much. That's only on printed on very thin copy of paper. So there we go. And then you can 3D the butterfly if you wanted with one of these. Yeah, I did. I thought I printed one out, but. Or you can just put your glossy accents on there, which looks nice if you want to keep the butterflies for other things. Okay, I'm just going to go and back that. I'm going to finish it off, I think, because I'm going to put that in my journal that I'm working on now. So I'll just go and back that, and what shall I do? What shall I do? And then come back, because I think I'm going to put that butterfly on there. Something like that. There we go. Okay, and then I will glossy accent this. And then that can go on drying. That's a nice little element for a journal.
Okay, I'm going to leave that to dry. Right, I'm going to do up this envelope today. Um, yeah, I've been a bit under the weather this week. I've had a stinking cold, so we are come out of nowhere, to be honest. But anyway, I'm back in my studio. I haven't been in there for in here for a couple of days. Haven't really felt like it. But I'm back in today, so you have to excuse me if I do start to sniff. But this one was, I'm going to make this into a pocket on one side of the page and I'm going to stitch it down here. And then this is going to be, you know, like a flap on the other side. Yeah. So I'm going to cover. Um, and I think I'll do, I'll just put this one up on there as a freebie. Up on, um, where did I put it? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. So I'm going to... Um, Look, I sort of want some of that behind it, even though, you know, yeah, I think I'm going to go there. So I'm going to centralise that a bit on there. That should be about right. Let's have a look. That's going to be pocket. So this one needs to be done from there to there. Okay. Okay, I'll just cut those bits off. I just want that. So, and the other's going to be made into a tag or something. Straight there though. Check that. Yep. Do that now, as so I already forget. Okay, and that's going to look nice through there. Yeah. I, haven't, I don't think I've got a template for that one, so I'm going to um, use some collage paper for that. But it's not been tea stained, so it's a little bit white, but that's okay. But I am going to do that sort of thing. Okay. just over two and a quarter there okay and that would be all right for the top right if i take some off of there I'm just gonna fold that in half do a bit of patchwork
right and we also have the same you know size for this so that should be all right so i'm gonna stick that down Perfect there. So if we do two the same. So and then cut the bit off the top. Mm, three quarters of an inch. Will be should be fine. Um, was it going down that way? Wasn't it? Yeah. So if I do two. I went for the colour there, match the other one, but this one was a little bit out, wasn't it? Let's pull that up. So we can do similar, that's going to be, oh, that's going to be a bit short, so about there, so I'll do that again. Oh, it's about half an inch, isn't it? A bit less, I would have said. Yeah, just a bit less, three eighths, I think. So I might visually do this. <laughs> Let's have a look about there, I reckon. Oh, that's length. Yeah, the long ways. Yeah. Let's have a look. I'm hoping. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. That is. Yeah, that's fine because we can we can trim off. No problem. There we go, and then all we've got to do is patch up there. go <laughs> it's just worked out brilliantly hasn't it but like i say most of the time i have um 
templates all these, but I haven't those big ones. Level that up there. Always do it with a trimmer as well, you know, to level things up if you want to. I do. Make sure it's nice and square when I've finished. Okay, that's that. That's the little flip. And now this one is going to be the pocket. Um, let's have a look. I think I might use that bit there. Yeah. We've got a little overhang here. Uh, just about right. Perfect. I'm going to do that. In theory, I could have most probably gone right across there, couldn't I, to be honest. But then, um, you know, and it wouldn't have mattered, actually, because there's not going to be too much bolt there, because that's going to be my pocket. So, yeah. So you could do all that in one, to be honest. Yeah, my head's not really totally with it at the moment, so... Definitely not. <laughs> okay. Have a pocket on there. Might look quite nice. Because that's going to go in the journal there. And that's going to be like the little flip. Decorative flip. And that. Should we make that into a nice pocket or something? Um, I think I'm going to cover it with that one first. I've got to be careful when you cut this side so you don't cut your flap off. So you sort of come away a bit, I do, and then angle my scissors in. And then this doesn't matter. Really. Like I said, sometimes I will trim, use the trimmer, get all that nice and square before it goes in the journal. Okay. That. Um, what got. I don't think that's going to go. Oh, I'll tell you what you could do on there. Could be, I, ha I can't do it now, but when it's dry, the library pocket would look nice on there. Like that. So it's still drying. So yeah, that's perfect. So I'm going to put a sticky note on there to remind me. Because <laughs> I am definitely likely to forget. <laughs> so let's put that there. And that's going to go in there, but I'm going to stitch around this. Okay, make it look a bit better, I think. Yep, so we'll go ahead and stitch that, and I'm going to stitch around here too. I'm not going to stitch this bit or that bit, because I'm going to stitch that onto the page, which I will show you what I'm doing, because I think this is going to go in the centre. 
Okay, but I will do this bit here. Um, where else do I need to stitch? Need to stitch around that one, and I think I'll stitch around the window. Yeah, and the only other bit that's this is going to be a flap, so I can stitch all that. Okay, I'll show you when I come back what I've done. Okay, so that's where I've stitched. I stitched all around there and that panel there, just the top here, because I'm going to stitch that in the journal. Yeah, and here. I thought this is quite a lot going on here so this i would tend to go for like a plain plain thing okay just like a little quote or something like that all the world autumn be on that oh i just sew these little things and then sometimes they're a bit wide so i just cut them down Be better if I um put some glue on this. <laughs> um, that's off centre, so I'm gonna go along that way to, because that's going that way. So I'm gonna come along here. Right, I'll get the journal or the signature. And um, we're going to put this one in the middle, which is going to be here. Right, that's going to sort of sit in there like that. Okay, and I'm going to stitch these along there. So, what I'm going to do here is glue there a little bit much okay and there okay actually can't see right and about there okay I don't mind that it's a little bit shorter that looks fine when you stitch it. So I now stitch along there and straight stitch and here. Yeah. And then we have a nice big pocket then. The centre of the signature. Yeah. And then the library pocket goes on there. There we go. So nice big pocket here. Okay, and then there's that there, and it's still not dry, so I'll be a bit careful. And that's going to go there. A look might look quite nice with a bit of vellum behind, you know, before I stick that down. I'm not sure, but I shall have a look at that. Depends whether, no, I think I quite like it like that, so, and that will be stuck down there. Okay, so that is that. Nice little insert for the middle.